Kate Middleton was unable to attend one of her most important annual events, the BFTA Awards. Due to health problems, she had to miss this event, at which she usually shines in beautiful outfits. The British media continues to speculate about the state of her health and the true illness. Obviously, some publications are cashing in on the topic. We have always suspected that Camilla Parker Bowles is behind the scenes. But where does this connection between Camilla and the British media come from? Why are they so loyal to her and to a lesser extent her husband Carl, but so hostile to Harry and Meghan, and more recently William and Kate? The key to understanding is one man, Tom Parker Bowles, 48, Camilla's son from a previous marriage. Her other daughter Laura carries her husband's last name and always keeps a low profile. Tom, on the other hand, is a different matter. He works as a food critic for the publishing arm of the Daily Mirror tabloid, which has particularly targeted Diana's children and their partners. Now that we have a better understanding of the darker side of Harry's relationship with the press, Tom's role takes on new significance. As you might expect, the man has recently been actively defending his mother from criticism without naming the other party, but actually humiliating her. We've said in other videos that Tom is 10 years older than Harry and seven years older than William. Curiously, at the time when 14-year-old Harry was falsely rumored to be in drug rehab, Tom himself was involved in a scandal that could have damaged his reputation. If you search for information about this person, you will be assured that Camilla's children always behaved impeccably, were friends with the royal family and were real gentlemen. In fact, it's not quite like that, especially in Tom's case. As I said before, Harry was 14 years old. The information about his rehabilitation was completely false. In his book, he gives the name of a journalist who was later convicted of fake news about him. Harry admits to using illegal substances at various times in his life, but certainly not at the age of 14. He had an upbringing that convinced him that it was wrong. Why did the lie about 14-year-old Harry come out then? Because at the time, Tom Parker Bowles was the subject of a scandal that could have negatively affected preparations for Camilla and Carl's upcoming wedding. Camilla didn't need that kind of story at all. Hence Camilla's close ties with the British media, thanks to which she always comes out the winner, and the children of her main rival Diana, losers. So in the late 1990s, 23 or 24-year-old Tom was arrested by police for drug possession. Specifically, he was found to be in possession of marijuana and some kind of chemical substance. He was working at the time for a PR agency that serviced the Cannes Film Festival. At a party in London, Tom, clearly tired and out of sorts, admitted to snorting cocaine. An eyewitness said that Tom was pale and in a t-shirt walked into a room where there was a white powder on a table. There were about 20 people there and someone asked Tom, would you like some white powder? To which Tom replied, I already have some, thanks. Oddly enough, this scandal caused a flurry of criticism of Tom himself. It is even written that the then Prince of Wales Charles made efforts to shield his sons from communicating with this man, and his mother made a series of deals with the press to divert public attention. It turned out that Tom's drug problems were more serious than they seemed at first. Over time, he rehabilitated himself and became a famous chef, writer, and journalist. But some sources claim that he never got rid of the problem completely. Today, his name is back on the rumor mill. Let me remind you that when criticism from a part of society was sprinkled on Camilla, her modest son rushed to her defense. He called his mother a wonderful woman who married for love and gets along well with her husband. Tom also said that Camilla helped improve the image of the new monarch after a video leaked showing him looking sullen and irritable. According to Tom, Charles A.I. is actually a kind and intelligent man. Tom also spoke positively about Prince William, but did not defend Prince Harry. He stated, I think anyone would be nervous at such a historically important moment. Referring to the coronation of his stepfather Charles. About his mother, 75-year-old Camilla, Tom said the following, It's not easy for her, but she's never complained. You just have to do your own thing and go forward. This was a clear put down of Harry. As I've said before, I don't like Camilla, and I get the impression that her son is also trying to take a seat at the head of the British monarchy. 
jokes aside, but it's a strange situation. The whole Kate Middleton Crohn's disease thing also came up in the publication where Tom works. To me, there are too many coincidences here to consider them coincidental. Camilla has an agenda and she's really crafty. She relies on her loyal subjects who seem determined to poison the lives of both the Diana's sons and their partners. The press has successfully split public opinion into supporters of Harry and Meghan on one side and William and Kate on the other. At the same time, Camilla herself remains beyond criticism, which is completely unfair. Unfortunately, the princes, due to their position, cannot comment publicly on the situation. But it would be great if they followed Harry's example and pointed out in their book those behind the scenes without going into details out of respect for their father. Harry clearly avoided broaching the subject so as not to upset Charles Ayla. Thank you for watching this video. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Give a like to support the channel. Subscribe for updates.